Good morning, Elizabeth State with Joyful Parenting Coaching. I get a complaint from parents that sometimes they are trying to listen, but their kids won't talk to them. So they are coming with their best active listening. They're ready to really just try to find out what's in their child's heart and what's going on and what their child's motivation was and maybe what their child's fear was. And they come with their listening ears and they ask about something that happened. I say all the time to parents, get curious. One, you know, just get curious. So, you know, if a child does something that he's not supposed to do, he knows he's not supposed to do it. You've probably just talked about it that day or the day before, and he does it anyway. And now you're trying to be present and to really communicate with him rather than just flipping off, which is, maybe what your first instinct is, which is like, we talked about this. How dare you do that? And now you are trying to be curious and you really are trying to give your child a chance to be with you and to share with you. And all you get is, right? That, that look that says, I'm not going to talk to you. And you know, maybe that little stubborn chin coming out. And I want to say that it's okay and it takes time. And if you haven't been listening to your child, if you haven't been using curiosity for a really long time, then this is new for your child, just as it's new for you. And he doesn't trust you yet. Over time, he will. So ask the questions, allow for the silence. And that's the hard part, right? Because I don't know about you, but I can talk a mile a minute. And I hate having just that bubble of science be there. But if you can say, I'm really curious, what's going on with that? And then just wait and then just allow that silence to be there. That silence that wonders whether or not the volume on your kid is actually turned up. So, and then circle back, right? So the more that we practice the skill of just listening and being curious, and if they actually do say something to us, just recapping the gist of it so they know they've heard us, without moving into lecture mode, the more forthcoming that they're going to be and the more that you're going to develop this back and forth conversation style. They're not used to, to back and forth conversation. They're not used to you listening. So it's time to train them to listen by just trying it. And if you have to count in your head the seconds to allow the silence and just to keep a really neutral expression on your face, count in your head and then come back again the next day and try it again. So if a child hasn't said anything to you, just say, okay, well, you think about that some and we can talk about it again later. And then quiet. Hug, kiss, off you go to something that you're doing and then you can come back to it later. Or you can acknowledge, I know I haven't been a really great listener in the past and maybe that's what's keeping you from saying something now. I get it. And at the same time, I do hope you'll share with me what's going on, but it doesn't have to be right now. Hug, kiss, off you go, and then you come back later. So if your kid's not talking to you, just keep practicing those active listening skills and that curiosity, that gentle, gentle curiosity, and eventually they will come around.